I will try to show you how you can define the decorator on your views and I will show you some basic decorators and as with the previous lesson this is more of a overview information and a lot of different decorators will be discussed later in the separate lessons for example uh, decorate uh, for example caching decorators will be discussed in the caching lesson in the more deep way but for now i wanted to show you some basic stuff so in order to define decorators uh, in order to define Django decorators on your views, you need to first import something that you need. Uh, for example, you might uh, you might want to restrict this view to receive only post requests, and in order to do that, we need to import from Django views decorators HTTP require HTTP methods function decorator and then we can actually using this at define for example that we need only post uh, operations to be performed on this view and for example right now if we try to open this page we will not receive anything because uh, we will see that method get is not allowed here because we allow it on the post but of course we can also allow uh, get requests too and then it will be working one more way also to require only post decorator is to have this require post to import this require post decorator and in this case Again, we uh, specified that this page can be accessed through some other requests like get request. Uh, we can also define, I think, require save. I'm not sure if it's. Yeah, so uh, we can, for example, import this require save decorator, which will be uh, receiving only save requests, so like get request, which is which does not really uh, change anything on our page, so we allow that. There are some other things, uh, some other decorators. Uh, for example, we can import condition decorator which I will not really go uh, into and I will not really go into details about that right now because I will have separate lesson about that but I want to show you that uh, this is that you can import that and you can make conditional views uh, you can compress your page for example using gzip page decorator and the page uh, will be compressed if it's possible you can also define some things uh, related to caching uh, for example if you cache your pages but um, you, so your cached version of pages depends on some particular uh, headers information for example if I don't know there there is a different uh, cached version of the website depending on the language of the user or for example on user user agent of the user then we can use this very on headers and then we define user agent so if you, if you define that, then uh, this view will have cached version for each uh, user agent 
for each separate user agent. And you can import some other stuff related to caching from decorator's cache. For example, never cache. You can define this decorator here and then this view will never be cached. So once again, this is more of a basic overview about decorators and we will talk about for example condition in separate lesson uh, we will talk about these decorators in separate lesson about caching so i just wanted to show you how you can define how you can import and uh, define your uh, decorators on the views and i hope this lesson was useful